Welcome, Diecast aficionados. This is Level M Diecast, and we're bringing you episode 22, Diecast Hall. Uh, this is going to be a good one, I assure you. This one's going to be really, really good. Uh, we do have a couple of green light to start off with. This is from the newest release of Vintage Ad Cars. This is Series 8. Unfortunately, I'm missing the one in the model or one in the mix that I wanted the most, but um, I do have two of them right now. I did pick these up from a local show today. First one, take a look at 1989 Ford Taurus in just regular beige, super stock, looking excellent. There is the mix in the back. Unfortunately, I do not have the first generation Ram, uh, which is the one I wanted the most. So only three in the mix, or actually there's four, because I guess I do the GMC as well. So I got two of the four, so take what I can get. We'll go ahead and just cut this guy open right now. Get the clamshell going. There we go. Pieces of clamshell everywhere. Pop him out. There we go. This is the 89 Ford Taurus, and it is just so ridiculously plain that I absolutely love it. I love it so much. It's just such a cool casting. I can't believe the green light actually did this generation of Ford Taurus. Just ridiculous. Details look fantastic. Hubcaps look ridiculous. It's just so it's so cool. It's so cool. I don't care what anybody says. I think this is just such a such a cool casting. Um, really, really cool to get in just this regular beige two tone with some gray on the bottom. Just just screams screams eighties. So this one looks like the number is a little offset print. Could be two hundred nine. Could be a bigger number, but we'll go with uh, two hundred nine since we can't see the other part of the number. And uh, oh. That they said green light 2023. I was like, that's impossible. Definitely can't happen. Yes, I have decided to start casting, collecting this casting as well. This is actually a really, really nice casting. 1949 Buick Roadmaster. Uh, this is the newest one. Um, this makes uh, three or potentially four already out for this. Uh, in just this wicked, cool, um, kind of turquoise kind of color with some red on the wheels and then some red interior. Just looks really, really cool. So, crack this guy open. It does have a really cool hood ornament on there, which kind of really makes it pop, in my opinion. Get some plastic out of here real quick. There we go. Slide this guy out. There is that cool hood ornament on the on the front there. It looks pretty good. This is just a really, really good casting. Greenlight just did such a fantastic job. Um... Not a huge fan of this, you know, this car in real life, I would say. But as a die cast, um, it's really, really, really nice. It looks really, really good. Definitely like all the details on this one. Of course, this one is excellent quality. So definitely a rarity with green light these days. But it looks like they're trying. Uh, this one looks like 1850. So relatively average number on this one. Hopefully that's not done up for a trailer hitch because that would be... It is done up for a trailer hitch because it's already been in hitched homes or hitched hitch until look how good that looks. Just like chilling. All right, a couple other things. Uh, not going to crack this open, but we do collect Planet Micro. I do like these a lot. Happen to have a couple of special collector edition sets, these gold plated ones, which obviously is not gold, just gold plastic. But the ladder, fire truck, the pumper truck, and then the rescue helicopter up there with the fireman action figures that are like. 10 times bigger than the vehicles. You know, it's a very interesting thing that Hot Wheels have done. This is the other one that I have. This is a way, way, way better one. This is the Land Speed, basically, set. So you do have the Jaguar XJ220. You have a jet-powered semi, bullet train, the kind of a salt flat, you know, turbine racer, then, of course, a crotch rocket. All looking really good. So these do come in regular decos, too. They're not just in gold. Those ones just happen to be special edition gold moving on to a older um super rigs from back in the day this is a double demon has come with the altered something or other I forget what that's called altered something there are some other models that are in the mix so not too many i don't have i don't have highway blast i don't have rig dog uh, but i have the other ones and now i have double demon so continuing to check these all off Crack this guy open. Throw him down. Of course, it is giant oversized. That's just how they do it. 
don't think this says on the base what it is. It does not. But it's just a, that standard, or it might be a quarter mile coupe. That might be the name of this one. Don't remember exactly, but this is the truck. Of course, it does have, you know, removable trailer. This particular one doesn't do anything. The trailer doesn't do anything, but just sit there. Truck looks pretty cool, though. Kind of like that look. Kind of sort of futuristic-ish look. And then, of course, he's got two engines on the back there. Of course, the trailer does pop off. Super, super chrome. Just blinds you with how much chrome's on there. These strafes off the top of the truck look kind of cool. Just some basic base deets with its ginormous wheels. Uh, the cab is metal. Everything else is plastic. And then, of course, the entire trailer is plastic entirely. And then, of course, the quarter-mile coupe, I think is what it's called. It just sits on there. It actually sits on there pretty good, relatively well. So I'll just kind of throw that guy there. Kind of move these out. We got tons more stuff to get to. Um, we got one majorette. Yes, this was in the U.S. This is U.S. Majorette. Uh, you'll notice that it's missing the box. So they got rid of the little, you know, faux box in there that doesn't do anything, which I'm perfectly fine with. It's still on the giant card. Uh, this is a brand spanking new release. Um, this is an existing deco, but these are brand new wheels for this. You see those are very Porsche-like wheels, right? Uh, very, very nice. These are also real riders. They are rubber tires. Of course, imported by Jada, everything in the U.S. that's majorette gets these stickers placard on them. It's perfectly fine. So I'm just going to crack this guy open. It does come with his little card placard, but I don't, I don't keep those. So we'll pull out our Porsche. Obviously, he's got opening doors. This is an existing Deco. Uh, this was in the newest Porsche 5 pack with the gold kind of 10 spoke wheels on it. Now it does have these nice Porsche wheels on it with rubber tires. Yes, those are rubber tires, and of course, it still has suspension. So very, very, very nice. I'm super, super stoked about that. So we're we're getting a few things here and there, but we still don't get jack squat for Majorette, regardless of what anybody tells you. We don't get nothing. All right, let's move on to some Hot Wheels basics. Uh, did pick up a red edition. This is the newest uh, Challenger SRT Demon for Ram Chargers. The first one was in... Uh, white with red deco. Now it's uh, target red with some white deco. So just a just a flip, but it is a red edition. So that one looks pretty good to say red right there on the uh, essentially the B pillar, Hemi and stuff like that. So that one's pretty average, but it looks pretty good. Uh, Kroger exclusives did pick up a couple of Kroger exclusives. This is the LB Works Huracan. Uh, I was starting to wonder if this thing was ever going to show up. Uh, waiting for this one forever. I think it looks absolutely fantastic in this green, by the way. Uh, really, really good. Does have some front print on there as well, which looks excellent. So definitely like that one. We'll throw him down there. Uh, the other Kroger exclusive that I particularly want to pick up that I collect is the Land Cruiser 80. This one is one of the best ones to date. Absolutely awesome. Just fully decoed up, all raced out, muddy wheels. Uh, just just looks really, really good. And, of course, it still has the front print on it, which looks nice. No rear print on it, but that's okay. I do like it. It's such a good one. It's such a good casting. We should see that casting in premium. That'd be nice to see that casting in premium. All right, some basics. Uh, these are from the 2023 CKs. Um, I've only found a few so far, so just going to go over what I have currently found. CKs. Uh, showing up at Target. So this is the Barbie uh, Dream Mobile or Barbie Extra Mobile. This is the newest color. This is the third color. So getting three of them, kind of like the ridiculous that this is. It's just, it's just weird. And I think it's cool because it kind of offsets everything in the collection. And it doesn't matter. I think it's cool. I think it's a, a pretty cool addition. So we'll just throw that guy there. Uh, this is the newest color for Max Steel which is very eye-catching with this red and white that looks pretty good. We'll crack that one open. Not a huge fan of the casting, um, but I just thought this deco looked really, really good. Just says so called on the side, 28. So it's, I mean, it's an okay casting, just not, not really my flavor. It's quite a bit of detail to it, though. So throw that guy down there. 
Uh, super, super cool one. This is a brand spanking new casting for 2023 in the Brick Rides. Um, it's crazy. We've already, this is like the fourth one already in the first three cases. So who knows when we'll see the last one. So this is a brand spanking new casting. Of course, it is a giant piece and then another piece and then you just have this base. So this is kind of cool because, um, you know, you could take all the other pieces and build on this base. That is the only metal of this whole thing is just this one part of the base. Uh, the rest of this is, you know, just plastic. So this one, you really don't have options. It's, it's This is really all you can do. Uh, you can take this off and you can have it be like a flatbed truck, which looks kind of cool. Maybe you can push this back a little bit, make it look a little bit more like a normal truck, like a cartoon truck, which is kind of cool. Um, but you can't, there's nothing really to do with this. And of course, it doesn't like attach anywhere else or anything like that. So, but it looks pretty good to say brick and delivery on the side. Same as in Sable. I like it. I like those weird castings. We like all the weird stuff here at Level M. Uh, newest color for the Unibog uh, 1300. Heavy Rescue Service in kind of a matte brown. This is a pretty good casting. I do like this casting. So they've used this for a number of things. A couple of a little bit mid-scale upper lines too as well. Some of those Walmart exclusive lines and stuff. So it's a pretty decent one. The Sun one's also been a regular treasure hunt in its previous life as well. So that's pretty cool. A couple more here. I do have one of the next set of Target Reds. So this Target Red came after that set of Target Reds. Um, this is the set that has the uh, S15 Liberty Walk and the Tesla Model Y. Unfortunately, this is the only one I found. This is the Ford RS200 Target Red. I love this casting. This is such a good casting. Looks really, really good. It says red right there in the middle. It's very, very nice. I like this one a lot. It is literally just a recolor of the first edition one, the white and blue, uh, but just in black and red for the red edition. It's very, very nice. This one is especially nice. I was pretty shocked to find this one because I really haven't seen very much C-Case at all. Uh, this is a brand spanking new casting. This is the Rimac Nevera. This is a electric car, electric hyper car. Specify that. Um, one of, if not the fastest car on the planet, I believe. Uh, just insane. Does have it in this giant wing mode. This is a really good casting, actually. Really, really nice casting. I really like this one a lot. Definitely, definitely want to see this one in premium because this one looks really good. I think this would be a perfect fit for a return for a full time speed champions uh, or speed machines set. Not just one series like we're getting, but a whole entire year's worth of um, speed machines, which would be nice. Uh, finally picked up this one. This was the Best Buy exclusive. This was the McLaren F1. Um, buddy picked this up for me. Couldn't find this one. This is the only one I couldn't find uh, when I was finding some of the Best Buy ones. So super happy for this one. I actually have a spot in the collection open uh, since I, you know, found out he's got that for me. So I've been waiting to get that one. All right. We got some cool Hot Wheels stuff now. Hot Wheels Revealers. So these are 1992, if I remember correctly. Yep. 1992. Um, so there was like this promo thing. And then like these are like blind bag kind of things and all this other stuff. And then eventually they started doing them where the bag came in there, but the model wasn't in the bag. Um, and I feel kind of bad because these, these cards are like mint. I mean, look at that. Didn't even have any veins running through it. But we're going to crack these open. I'm not sure which two these are. There are a few that I need, uh, but I don't know which is which. I believe this one is probably going to be a Testarossa. That is going to be my assumption right now. So we'll just crack it open and see what it is. Now, I'm sure you can go and figure it out by the numbers that are printed on there. But where is the fun in that? There is no fun in that. So oh, this is the Corvette. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. I actually don't even have this one. All right, so that is pretty cool. I have, I think, silver, white or silver. Um, I think each one of these came in three color combinations, um, but I don't have this one for sure. So very, very nice. Oh, I'm super stoked. That's dope. All right, sweet. It says, open me first, this little thing that comes in there. So there's a little checklist. 
So, of course, it has the Nissan Z, the uh, 348, I think that is, the 280 or 380 SEL. Um, looks like the M1, the Countach, the Zender Fact 4, XJ220, Ferrari F40, the Corvette we just looked at, the Diablo, the CX4, and, of course, the uh, 930. So that is your little checklist that it comes with, but each one of those comes in multiple colors. So it's not just one, but... There's more fun because, yes, I got one more. Now, you can see through this one a little bit. Um, so the checkered flags on there, I know for a fact this one is an F40. I don't know what color it is yet, but this one is an F40. So we will go ahead and crack this one open and see just what color of F40. I think there's one that I need. I couldn't tell you what the color is. Maybe yellow. I don't know. Let's see what color this one is. Ooh, it's a yellow. Maybe that's the one that I don't have. Oh, that's got to be the one I don't have because those uh, pink wheels don't look familiar to me. So awesome. With that ching opening bonnet. Such a good casting. I really wish Hot Wheels could bring this casting back with the opening parts and everything on it. So that's that's actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm fairly certain I actually don't have those two. Um, I had a buddy cleaning out a garage, and he was like, hey, I found a couple of revealer things. You want these? And I'm like, yeah, I'll throw them on the channel one way or another. All right, a couple more Hot Wheels items. Uh, checking off more of these classic Packards. Larry's Garage, this one in orange and brown with some tan on the top. I uh, did not have this one, so crack him open, get him out. So they had a lot of issues with the wheels on these at the time. Uh, you'll see that they're not spaced properly in the back, so it doesn't really roll all that much, and they're kind of they're kind of squashed in. It's a pretty common problem. There we go. Oh, this one actually has a long enough axle. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Ah, oh, all right. The axle is a little bit too long, but uh, at least it at least it popped out, and now they now it'll roll. But I really like this casting a lot. I do like '30s cars. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't bring that stuff to the channel because there's not very many people out there that like that kind of stuff. So we just kind of mix it in. Another one here. This is the uh, 36 Cord. Um, this is one of the very few remaining versions that I don't have, which I now do have. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, one of the ones that I don't think I have. I think there's one that was in a Thou uh, Schwartz pack. I think, if I remember correctly, I definitely don't have that one. Actually, I don't have any of the 30s cars in that Fowler Schwartz pack. So, we'll pull this guy out. From Hot Wheels Legends from back in the day. I really like this one with the white walls and then the yellow striping on that uh, wheel on the inside. Looks really, really good. Decos on the back. Nice decos around the hood. Uh, you know, grill vents and stuff around there. And a little bit of print around the windshield. That looks pretty good. Super chrome base. So, very happy about that. So, we'll throw him down there. Those, those look pretty good. Like, you kind of... I mean, this one will bring all the attention, but those guys look pretty good. They look pretty good. All right, a couple more things here. Uh, pick up this shoebox, which is... It's 49 Ford, but this is from Military Rods. I did not have this version. So, I am still pursuing all of the shoeboxes. Uh, I have about... Um, maybe about 30... 30 or so versions now. I'm still missing a bunch. Still missing a bunch. So they use this casting quite a bit. So there is the military rod one. Comes with a nice super gold, cold, super gold interior. There's a nice Marines deco on the top. Looks super, super good. Definitely like that. American flag on the back. This one's super cool. That's super cool. That's super cool. Um, something else that's super cool. Bam! Chase, uh, there was a lot of things that worked into factor of getting this, uh, but I got it and, uh, I didn't have to pay an arm and leg for it. So let's just put it that way. So super happy to get this chase. I really wanted this one. This one looks especially nice. Um, now the only ones that I need is the RX seven. And of course the C eight from earlier this year, um, that RX seven is going to be basically impossible. So let's go ahead and crack this guy. Oof, there we go. Get him out of there in his nice black stealthy glory. Looks really, really good in black. I mean, this model looks so good in black. Just 
amazing details on it. Way better than the standard version for sure. This one all murdered out. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. This looks so good. I just like it. All right, what else we got? I got a construction truck here. Um, I just picked this up because I thought it was super cool. This is a Norscott. Uh, I believe this is um, about 164 scale. Um, so this one looks pretty good. It's a, uh, it's kind of a medium range as far as like, you know how high premium it is. Um, that's not rubber tires. Um, and then of course the whole tank is plastic, but it is decoed up very very nicely, and it looks really really good. It's a very interesting model. Of course, it does have all that interesting. Um, articulation in the middle just like the row one does it is a caterpillar so that is a licensed model so just kind of throw that guy on the corner side there a little bit uh what else we got going on here uh one more hot wheels item uh crashers crashers two to be exact uh these are those ones from the early 2000s where you crash them and they kind of blow up like they look like they got in a car crash or whatever and you can like push them back together or whatnot so there is a mix on the back. There are several of them. So um, I don't know if I have any from this mix. Most of the ones I have are from the mix, the first Crashers. Um, I think these things are unique. There's definitely nothing fancy about them. They're just unique. So we'll pull this out of there. It is taped in there. It's weird. All right, let's see how this comes across. Ooh. I knew it. All right, we're not we're not playing these games today. We're just gonna chop. We're gonna chop. We're gonna chop, and we're gonna hopefully chop. There we go. All right, get those off of there. Pull the model off. Hopefully, get the. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, it's wrapped around. Round. There we go. Okay. And then we'll get the last one out the back. There we go. Boom. Okay. Oh, and there's a piece of rubber band on there. Oh, and a piece of plastic to hold it all up. And another piece of plastic, I think. Man, this is uh, intense. To get this thing apart to get this little piece of plastic out of there there we go boom all right so they put all that plastic in there to hold it open in its crash mode so there you go this is this is essentially the um you know 40 ford so see what it says on the back they call it the night roller but it's basically the 40 ford you can see the deets on the bottom so basically what happens is is it would crash into something and kind of explode open. The fenders kind of fold down too. This one's not that great. Um, the original ones were pretty cool because when you crashed them, there was like flames painted in there and all kinds of crazy stuff. But this one's not that great, I'll be honest with you. This one, and it doesn't really stay together. Um, it does come with a wall piece here. So let's get the wall piece out. Go. Just two little guys that sit on there. It kind of sits. Ooh. It is designed to attach to a track, which is totally a Hot Wheels thing. So this guy would just run up, and as soon as he hits this, that little lip right there uh, makes the thing activate, makes the car go up and kind of blow up. This one's not that great. Um, the older crashers were much better. This one's really not that great. And they were all metal. These are plastic on the base here. So it's unfortunate. Looks like there's one more rubber band in here. I don't think it's holding anything together, but get that out of there. So, yeah, these ones are not that great. It's, it's just not that great. It's not that great. Move that guy to the side. He kind of killed my whole vibe right there. All right, I got one more item here. Picked up a tarmac, and not just any tarmac. This is the Wyra Navarro. Navarro, Navarro. There you go. Wyra R in Nero Oro. This is the ridiculous, ridiculous, um, like over the top race car. 
So we'll just get this cut. Hopefully, there we go. Get this off. Go. Move them out of the box. Tink, tink, and tink. Slide it out. There we go. And pop that out of the plastic there a little bit. So there is the Wyra Nero Oro, I think is what you call it. Uh, this thing is wicked cool. Wicked cool. Of course, you see the you know side mirrors on the side. Those are not soft touch. Um, like Mini GT, so those are relatively rigid. So if you're not careful, you will definitely break them off. Uh, it does roll, which looks pretty good. A lot of very intricate print details on there. Looks very, very good. It says number one on the side. All that awesome, awesome detail. You can see into where the engine's at. Get that to focus real quick. So there's a lot of detail in there. Not, not a whole lot of light to get in there. But it looks pretty decent. And then there is just your base deeds. Of course, it is designed to be screwed on to a plaque. So at some, some point in time, I'm sure they're going to put this on a, uh, a um, you know, plexiglass container or whatever and change up the details. But we'll just set that guy right there. Kind of center, center screen. So there you go. That is the haul. Diecast episode number 21. 22. I already lost count. But you guys saw the crisp number at the beginning. So anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think about those. As always, level him. Peace.